For cheap games, Xbox Live, and PSN codes, check out G2A in description and use the code ECHO at checkout. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is ECHO and welcome back today to another Minecraft video. Today in this video, I have the top five enchantments. Now before I get into this and before you guys go absolutely crazy, if my top five isn't right, good because I want to see the comment section from you guys on what you think the top five enchantments are in order from first to last and why you think they're the best. This is basically based on my opinions, so it's not really 100%, but I do have kind of a solid backing on why I think this is the best order. Along with this, the reason why I'm sharing this video is because 4J have confirmed the Lapis enchanting for the next big update, so you'll actually know what enchantments you're going to be getting in the enchantment table. So it's all about making the right decisions. Now I'm pretty sure people won't agree with me, but if you do, be sure to thumbs it up and remember to leave a comment. So I'm going to start off with number five. Coming in at number five for me is Fire Aspect. The reason why I put Fire Aspect at number five is because Fire Aspect is a great enchantment, mainly for food though. It does have its downside, and the downside of Fire Aspect is, for example, Say if you did get a looting sword, you had a sharpness sword, but you also had fire aspect. It's not really going to be useful for attacking endermen. The looting would be great for endermen. The fire aspect will not because endermen will disappear because they're on fire because they don't like fire and they don't like water. So I have in here a fire aspect sword. I also have some cows here. And this is why it's very, very useful because if you're playing Minecraft, you need food, but you don't have coal and somehow you have a fire aspect enchantment, you can also instantly get cooked food. This is why I like it. Um, so it's kind of like, it's literally like a furnace on the go. And I think that's an absolute great thing to have in Minecraft. Um, and I recommend always enchanting diamond things. I, re I very rarely enchant any other type of sword or pickaxe. I always stick to diamonds um, because they're the best thing in my opinion. So as you guys can see, we have cooked food. It saves you going back home. It saves you having to recook some of the raw food. So at number five, I have placed fire aspect, but again, it does have its downside. And I'm pretty sure every single enchantment has its positivities and its negativities. So let's put this in here. Let's move on to number four. So number four, I have placed looting. And I'm pretty sure you guys will agree. It's definitely in the top five. For me, it's definitely top five because when you're in a big world, specifically on Xbox One or PlayStation 4, and you don't know where the stronghold is, you're always going to want looting. Now, looting is great for not only Enderman, but it's great for other things as well. It can be great for killing cows because you get more for your for your money as well. They get they drop more things. You can see drop three there. Let's just put down another cow and see how much we get. So you can actually stack up your food very quickly. We're now on quite a few already. It's great for skeletons as well. So if I grab myself a skeleton spawn egg, there we go. So let's just place this down. It's because they also drop a lot of things um, and you can get enchanted bows and you get more drops as well. So I placed looting there, but the main reason is for Enderman. You guys will see exactly why now. And as you guys can see right there, he dropped three Ender Pearls. Now normally, the chances of getting one ender pearl from an enderman is very rare. So the reason why I placed looting at number four is pretty much because of how much you can get for your sword. So it's kind of like a good value of your money. So yeah, that's definitely number four for me. I'm going to get rid of this as well because these are definitely not needed. So moving on to number three. I have placed efficiency at number three and I'm also going to show you number two. I have placed unbreaking at number two. Now efficiency, you could say and could argue saying it's better than unbreaking. It possibly is, however, I feel efficiency is only more beneficial when it has unbreaking on it. So to me, I placed unbreaking just ahead of it. So I switched my game mode to survival and in this chest, I just have a normal diamond pickaxe. I'm going to show you guys how long it takes me to mine all of these. Compared to using efficiency, you can count to yourself. Um, I'm using diamond as an example because any other type of... Um, uh, resource would take a little bit longer but you can see here that it takes quite a long time uh, and also the durability will go down because we don't have unbreaking but it's so so long without using efficiency now efficiency is probably one of my favorite enchantments it's not the best in my list but it's definitely one of my favorites especially for strip mining so you can see that did take a little bit of time to, to mine 
uh, put this back in here and then compare it against the actual efficiency one. So your time is literally halved, if not like sliced completely. So you guys will see here how, how much faster it is to mine while using an efficiency one. Again, it's definitely gone at number three because it's not the best, but it's not the worst. It's definitely gone behind on breaking because, well, having them both together is just absolutely amazing. The unbreaking differences are are crazy. That's why I placed uh, unbreaking at number two, which we're going to talk about right now. So yeah, the speeds were definitely a lot different there. So moving on to number two, which is definitely unbreaking. For this example, I don't have diamond. I have a wooden one, and I've also got a wooden uh, unbreaking. So we're going to see how far we can get with just a normal wooden one and we're going to check the durability at the end of them compared to an unbreaking one now again i never really enchant anything lower than uh, diamond that's just because for me even iron isn't even worth enchanting the only time i'll ever get iron is when i'm trading it with villagers but you can see here we're near enough halfway through and the durability difference is it's going to be so so much useful um to use unbreaking so let's just keep breaking this Let's just see, the durability comes towards the end. We have a lot of animals in this world, by the way, guys. Uh, but you can see here, we're, we're pretty much going to end up with like halfway broken. Now, I don't know how many blocks in total you can break with a wooden pickaxe. Um, but it is, I think it's like one stack of 64 that you can break. To be exact, it's something along them lines. And as you guys can see here, coming towards the end, the durability has been absolutely destroyed you can see there 38 blocks so i think there's around about one stack of 64 you get with a pickaxe i'm pretty sure you guys would know which number one is as well so put this in here let's go i'm breaking with uh, i'm breaking three and we're going to break all of these and we're going to see the differences now the reason why again i place i'm breaking at number two is because it saves you having to re-enchant a new sword a new pickaxe it saves you having to um, I don't know, It just you just get so much more value for your enchantments, which is why I placed it at number two. And you can already see the differences. Uh, and this is only a wooden sword, for example. So the changes are a lot different. You don't notice this so much on diamond, because obviously I'm breaking an efficiency on a diamond. They do so much destruction, and they break so many blocks. I would love to know how many blocks in total you can destroy using unbreaking an efficiency on a diamond pickaxe. But yeah, we're still at pretty much full durability, and we're, we're coming towards the end here. So I'm going to show you guys the differences between both of them, just to compare them in reality. So yeah, the, as you guys can see there, the durability, it's still pretty much nearly full, which is why I think Unbreaking is, if not the best, definitely the second best. So let me grab this one, so you can see here the differences. You can just, you notice straight away. So yeah, that's why I placed Unbreaking at number two. Again, you might not agree, you might disagree, that's up to you. And then, of course, at number one, I placed Fortune. Now, to me, Fortune is the best. The reason why Fortune is the best is because, to me, you can never have enough diamonds. Although it's great for diamonds, the Fortune works for diamonds, it works for coal, it works for lapis, it works for redstone. I'm not entirely sure if it works with emeralds. That is a bit of a, a debate. Some people say that it does, some people say it doesn't. I don't really mind too many emeralds, but we can actually test this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Go to host options, game mode. I'm going to put myself into crea creative. Because I've never really tried this before. I'm going to grab myself some emerald ore. Let's go to survival. Alright, so to me, fortune is the best because you get more for your money. That's the reason why I put it at number one for myself. So if I break this, you can see here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got nine diamonds. However, let's see how many we end up with after using Fortune 3. So, these can always change. They always do vary. It's never an exact amount. It is literally down to luck. Uh, but you can see there, we had 10. And we pretty much nearly doubled the amount of diamonds we can get. So, it, it pretty much saves your time. And that's why I like it. So, let's just try it with this. Because I've never really tried it with this. So, let's just try. Oh, it does work. Okay, then. So, there you go, then. It even works at Emerald. So, it pretty much works for all ores that can be instantly picked up and used... And there you go, we've just used 10, and now we have 28. So, yeah, that's my order. And number one, fortune. And number two, unbreaking. At number three, efficiency. At number four, looting. And number five, fire aspect. But in honesty, guys, as I switch back to creative here, there is no right or wrong list, which is why I want to see your list. It's kind of mainly my list. So if I go over to the, um, the enchantment books, 
they're all very, very useful. They all have their positivities, they all have their negativities. Um, but they are probably the best in my opinion. You could say Silk Touch. However, Silk Touch is only useful when you don't have Fortune because you can Silk Touch the diamonds and then when you have Fortune, you then Fortune the diamonds. So again, Fortune's on top. Um, anything else I think, feel like I missed? I don't think I missed any other ones. You could say Infinity for a bow, but we didn't really focus mainly on bows. So hopefully you guys did enjoy something a little different. If you did, be sure to thumbs it up. Maybe I can do more top five basic creation design things. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Have a great day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.